morning. I'm enjoying my cuppa. Made a different way this morning. I took delivery of this yesterday. So, see if I can get the same effect for my bullet spoof coffee in the van. So, let's go and test it. It's been on charge all night. It came with no power. So, let's go see how it works. Hmm. Query that. So what did the bump say? Hmm, not quite what we've got, but guess it's read the small print. Intimate details? I guess that means these instructions. Not much use though. Chinese anyone? So let's look at the product itself. Cup looks okay, if a bit small, but let's look. USB? Hmm, that came off. Charged okay though, took a while, but the first time hopefully it'll be quicker for next let's see how it works as with all new products it needs washing first so let's test it with water and soap it's only a single blade but as long as it does the job it's only liquid not fruit I'm, I'm okay whoops let's get rid of some not that much Try that again. Not sure why it keeps stopping, but let's try it with actual stuff. Really looking forward to bullet spoof coffee on the go. It's not quite the same in the van when I use a blender stick frother. It's not quite the same. Not quite as responsive as I would have liked. It's a bit temperamental, this button. And this stopping again. Hmm, I'll have to see about this. Looks frothy though, so we'll have a go, see what it's like. Looks good. Much better than I get with a frother or a blender stick. Yeah, okay. Ah, this is my problem. They're not lining up. We'll have to see. Line them up and it leaks. It's not sealed. Hmm. Can you see the drip? Froth test passed, but oh, look at that. There's lines. Check out that volume. The leak might have failed, but let's try to the right volume with coffee. Looking good so far. Hmm. And it's not knocked off. It's still running. That can only be a positive. Let's see how much we actually get out of it in a cup. Hmm. A full cup. Not bad. Not very good in my travel mug though, would have to do two, but enjoy. So what's the verdict? Cup volume, sorry, a usable cup volume, only half that quoted, but okay for a latte cup, not my travel mug. That's a thumbs down. The switch leaks when it's lined up, but power intermittent, it's a problem. Cup seems to be durable though, okay for warm drinks, and it's much better than my frother stick. Waterproof cover came off, minor point, pushes back on even though it doesn't stay. Took a few hours to charge the first time, but it was the first time. Hopefully subsequent times will improve, so we'll just have to see how we go on. Watch this space. Quick count up then, four thumbs up, seven down. That's a down overall, but it's usable for now. An update clearly required. Regards number of uses per charge, how that switch goes, and see generally how it goes. So, that was yesterday morning. Since then, I made a cocoa last night and I made a nice cream in the afternoon, which is a bit hit and miss, but video to follow on that. But in 24 hours, I've lost 
the USB cover but it'll be in my bag somewhere I'm sure so for 13 pound that's British pounds I uh, know it's you get what you pay for but that's what I pay for this and this is far and away above that so although that one does come with a mixer as well but it was under and it was all I could get at the time but this I got because of the durable plastic there are some better priced and better volume ones out there but they all say no hot drinks no warm drinks nothing over 50 degrees so I got this because of the durable plastic and if it wasn't for that switch alignment it would be okay so far the only problem I'm having at the moment with no instructions we didn't see all this but obviously if you remove the cover then you can see that and as I say it just wants to go just that bit too far but unless I can put something in to seal it I did have another cup that I hoped would fit but it's exactly the same size so I won't screw on but it needs the induction thing for that so it does does work but obviously the fact that you have to put it upside down to get the blade but there's only two things that I will be using this for and that is my bullet spoof coffee every morning and nice cream and although I use a little mini blender which you'll have seen on other videos um, generally this would be nice to have when we're on holiday or in the van so yeah the biggest downside downside apart from that faulty button is as you can see how much the um, do it that way how much volume the motor takes up and it is most you know all the way so as I say when when you look at that I'll just put the cover back on when you look at that fill line you know you you have lost yes the right in the cup volume is 500 mils probably I haven't measured it but the usable volume is only 250 so that was the biggest problem but anyway see how it goes so thanks for watching i hope it's been useful for you anybody that's wanting warm drinks in um in a blender so thanks a lot i'll keep you updated let you know how many charges i get out of it and whether anything gets worse or not that's so, update to follow so again thanks for watching i'm leslie and i'm still young at art so long for now, catch up soon.